Hey, Matt Valentine here to show you how to successfully demo the 2450, 60, or 61 source meter along with the 2281S precision DC supply and battery simulator. So essentially what we're going to do is connect the 2460, in this case, to the 2281S precision DC supply and battery simulator. And we're going to simulate a battery with this one and then discharge the battery with this and create a model of it. So the essence of this demo is that we're going to use the source meter, connect it up to a battery, and discharge the battery to create a battery discharge model. So the source meter is used as a constant current load and discharges the battery from full to completely empty. However, in this case, instead of using a real battery, we're going to use the battery simulator, which emulates a AA battery. Because it's impractical to run a discharge for multiple days of a AA battery, they have such a high capacity, we're going to simulate the battery and set it to be a very low capacity. So how is the SMU going to create this model? Essentially, you're going to load a TSP script from the front panel, and that TSP script will run and collect battery voltage, open circuit voltage, internal resistance, and amp hour capacity data from the battery. When it's done discharging the battery, it's going to produce a 100 point model that can then be loaded back into the 2281S battery simulator to be used to simulate a battery. So when you load the model back into the 2281, essentially it is a, an array of data with state of charge, open voltage, and internal resistance points for each percentage state of charge along the way. So you're going to insert a USB flash drive in the 2281 and import that model. So for this demo, you're going to need to connect up your 2281 to your 2450, 60, or 61, high terminal to high terminal, and low terminal to low terminal. The first step is to load a AA battery profile into the 2281. So I've got a profile loaded onto this flash drive, and I'm going to import it into this battery simulator. So to do that, go to the battery simulator, go to the menu, and find model. So in model, we can import and export different battery models. So if you go in and select model, scroll over to import, Import then looks at the data on this flash drive. So I've got something called AA.CSV, which is the AA battery model. And I'm going to place it into slot number four. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. So now I have a AA battery model in slot number four. So back to the main screen, we have to select that model now. Scroll down to slot number four, double A, press enter. And the whole point of this is to set the capacity to be very low so that we can discharge very quickly. So from that screen you were just on, press next down here and change the capacity to point 0, 0.01 amp hours, so 10 milliamp hours. Press enter. So now we have a really low capacity battery that we can discharge very quickly with the source meter. Because we're discharging at an amp, we need to set the I limit to be greater than an amp so that the 2281 doesn't go into current limit mode. So into here, change this to 1.1 amps. Press enter. Now this is ready to go. To start the script running, move your flash drive over. This will look at what scripts you have on here. I have it titled battery discharge.tsp. So now you have to set your rated battery voltage. Since it's a AA model, it's 1.5 volts. The cutoff voltage in this model is 900 millivolts. 
we're going to discharge at 1 amp. And I'm going to take internal resistance measurements every one second. So now I can turn this on and get it ready to simulate and press OK to start the model. So as you can see, this is discharging at an amp. And you can see the state of charge going down, down, down. And as it's going down, the amp hour capacity left in the battery is also going down. So if we want to see this battery discharge profile as it's going, go to menu in the 24, 50, 60, or 61, go to the graph, and now you can see it discharging. If you want to see the whole thing, go to scale tab and say x-axis scaling to all, so you can see all of the points. Go back to the graph, and now you can see the whole battery discharge model. Now that was very fast. In reality, a battery discharge would take days or sometimes weeks. So when it's done, it says, do you want to save the results to a USB drive? In this case, yes. And now it just saved that model onto the USB drive of this battery discharge. And in a real customer application, what you would want to do is then move this flash drive back to the 2281 and go through the import process that we went through in the beginning. So now that you have the model loaded into the 2281S, you can use that model to test your device. So now with the model loaded into the 2281, you can efficiently and repeatably test at any state of the device. For example, I can come in here and set the state of charge of the battery to 30%. And now the 2281 will represent a 30% charged battery. Thank you for watching. For additional assistance, contact your local Keefley application support person. Find out more at FICOM's website.